Hi, I'm Uta from Salty Beaver Explorers. Thanks for joining us today. We are going to be exploring a New Year's tradition that's been going on in Canada for over a hundred years now. So stay tuned and uh, let's get going. This is the place to learn about food, stereotypes, culture, and all things Canadian. So let's go, eh? In Canada, our January 1st news consists of the identity and time of the birth of the New Year's baby and video footage of that morning's local polar bear swim. It's New Year's Day and people who live in warm climates and vacationers are on beaches and swimming. And it's the same here in Canada, only it's a little different. And thousands of Canadians will be celebrating the New Year by taking the icy plunge. The polar bear swim has been a New Year's tradition since the 1920s and it takes an awful lot to deter these hardy souls from taking part in this ritual. Depending on where you live in Canada, you could either be running into the water from a sandy beach or jumping into a river where machinery has just broken a hole into the thick ice. The extreme weather was hazardous. Treacherous ice conditions in Toronto forced organizers at polar bear dips across Lake Ontario to cancel their events. The fear being swimmers could slip and injure themselves, but that still didn't deter some from coming out anyways. Ignoring the warnings and dipping in their toes. It was all started by Greek immigrant Peter Pantages, who swam every day in the ocean at English Bay in Vancouver, British Columbia. If the Pantages name seems familiar, it's because Peter was the nephew of Pericles Alexander Pantages, who began the historic Pantages theater circuit in North America. Peter coaxed five of his friends to take a swim on Christmas Day, 1920. They called themselves the Polar Bear Club, and by the late 1920s, the swim had changed to New Year's Day. It had become such an event by then that it was being broadcast on the radio as far away as Britain and Australia. Peter continued to swim in English Bay every day of the year, as reported by the Lethbridge Herald in 1949. It reads, Ten human polar bears took a cool but refreshing dip in the chilly waters of English Bay Sunday. Peter Pantages, president of the Polar Bear Club, will complete a 20-year record of a swim every day in the Pacific Ocean, New Year's Day. The temperature was 30 degrees above Fahrenheit as Pantages and his bears splashed in the bay. Spectators, bundled in overcoats, watched from a snow-speckled beach. It was a trial round for the annual New Year's Day swim when 50 club members are expected for a dip in the icy bay. A hundred years later, the polar bear swim is going strong, with the annual frigid swim now being run by the descendants of Peter Pantages and the Vancouver Park Board. It has since spread all across Canada, making it a New Year's tradition, with people jumping into the water in bathing suits, costumes, and a party atmosphere. If you are going to ask, I haven't done it. But our children took the icy plunge in the North Thompson River when they were young and the air temperature was hovering around minus 25 degrees Celsius. They both earned trophies for being the youngest male and female to take part that year. Needless to say, the half-frozen participants were quickly bundled in blankets and given hot drinks to warm up. If you're thinking of trying the polar bear swim, the Canadian Red Cross suggests avoiding cold stress and hypothermia by doing the following things. Only remove your clothes just before jumping in the water. Wear shoes or other footwear to prevent your feet from sticking to the frozen ground. Secure eyeglasses. Have a spotter on shore to watch you at all times. As you get out of the water, have someone ready with towels, blankets and warm dry clothing. Unfortunately, the 2021 polar swims have been cancelled or, as in the case of Vancouver, it will be virtual this year due to COVID-19. So I'm not really sure what our local news will be featuring on New Year's Day other than that cute baby, but I'm sure we'll see some antics again in 2022. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment because we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe and hit that bell below to be notified the next time that we upload. And have a happy new year!